What's going on guys? I'm back with another install video for you guys. Got something pretty cool to show you. Um, it's another exterior styling mod, so no performance mods yet. Maybe, maybe some in the future. But for right now, I'm just kind of focusing on like the exterior styling to make it look cool, I guess. But let's jump right into the video. All right, so here is what I'm gonna be installing today. I already unboxed it and got that pain in the ass packaging off. But these are the ready to rock side rocker panels. So they are pretty much just side skirts for both sides. And then they also come with the rear kind of side skirt, which will fit onto here like this. Something like that. Just to give, yeah, like that. Just to give the car a little bit of, a little more styling, I guess. But, so these ones right here, they are a direct bolt-on for the non-performance package um, vehicle. But the rear, I've read online and read some reviews, and <clears throat> if you do not have the performance package, you will need to slightly modify them a little bit. So I guess I'll figure that out as I go. But for right now, I'm gonna start off with the easier part, just the direct bolt-ons. All right, so this is gonna be a pretty straightforward uh, installation. So what you're wanna, going to want to do is um, up, up, up underneath the car right here, there's like some little cutouts that are the shape of this. And then in the center of that cutout, there's a plastic um, like push pin, I guess which you just have to pop those out and I recommend using like a pry tool but I just used something like this just get underneath it and pry it out but um, just do that all the way down the car until you get to the end and then in the front there will be one bolt up, up, up underneath the car that requires a star studded allen wrench let me see if I can focus this. There you go. I'm not sure what size, so I'm sorry. Just kind of look around and see if you can find the correct size. So once you remove the bolt from the front, there will be two more up underneath here. And then this little splash guard will, um, actually there'll be two of those and then one of these and then you just kind of want to push that to the side. <laughs> I have some roadkill under there, so that's nice. Just in case I get hungry, I guess. And then once you get all that, um, it applies with 3M tape. So just put those push pins back in the hole and then um, use these little applicator pads that it comes with to kind of clean up the underbody of the car so that 3M tape sticks to it really well. And uh, that'll be it for that, but we'll go ahead and give you guys a time-lapse video of me installing it right now. Finally got the second one out. That was way more difficult than I thought it would be. Trying to hammer, try this, try to fork. I eventually just was able to pull it out with my hands, but this is going to be a bitch. You have to do like 10 more down that way. And I'm only on the second one. All right, so I found a much easier way. So obviously the pin is in here and these, you can actually get your fingers up underneath both sides and just pull down on that and it should just pop it right out. Instead of just having to work out that pin from such a small working area. Like that. Way easier. Holy shit. I wish I would have found that out earlier. I gotta be careful of this roadkill. I don't want fucking rabies on my hands. Alright. 
right, that should be it for all the pins. Now I'm just gonna clean up this underside and uh, just put the new piece on. You're gonna put this alcohol prep on the bottom right here. Just kind of clean up all that, any greasy residue. And then you're gonna hit it with the adhesion promoter. And then just peel off the 3M tape and get it up underneath there, put the pins back in and you're all set for that side. See, that's why I put that part on first, because if you do it the other way, it's kind of hard to like hold this flimsy piece of plastic up while you get all the other parts in there. I just want to reinsert the plastic, uh, plastic pins. Holy shit, I finally got it done after like probably 20 minutes. That was way more difficult than I thought it would be. But looks pretty cool. Got it to match my front splitter so it kind of has that low splitter for the front, side, and back. It's a lower angle. Too bad my car's all dirty. Gotta wash it up before I take another, take a photo shoot. All right, so my camera's about to die, but um, just finish up on the other side, the exact same process. And I'm gonna finish up the rest of the video using my iPhone. All right, so here's what I did. Like I said at the beginning of the video, you will have to make some modifications if you do not have the performance package. <clears throat> so this is what the normal one looks like. Since you, on the performance pack, you do have that like larger uh, plastic piece on the side right there. That's why there's like a little step up and then a place to put the pins at. But on, obviously on the non-performance package, there is no plastic piece. So it's just a flat um, place where you have to put the pins at. So what I did was I um, lined these up right here. Well, first, obviously, I cut this out, and then I lined these holes up right here to make an accurate drill cut. And then I just cut the rest along the edge right here, as you can see right here. So now, whenever we put this under the car, they, hold on. that is where you are going to be putting this at. So now it just fits right in the place like that. It'll be a little more flush once I work with it a little bit. But once I get it installed, I'll show you the finished product. All right, here is the finished product. I might need to um, put some 3 in tape right under here just to prevent from like rattling and such but yep there's the 
There we go. There's the install. It's pretty stable. Yeah, like I said, just need to put some 3M tape just to prevent rattling and is all done for that side so just repeat the same process on the other side and you are done all right so I use some slightly larger 3m tape just put it right up underneath here so now there's no move no movement so it shouldn't rattle anymore and it's, it's on there pretty damn good so yeah, here's the finished product on that side Finished product on this side. It'll look a lot better once my car is clean, but let's see if I can get a good angle. Yeah. Get the side over there. All right. All right. Thanks for watching today's video. This um, install was a pain in the ass, but I finally got it done. Stay tuned for more mods.